Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at U.com versus ChatGPT versus Perplexity AI. There's a lot of noise going around how Microsoft Bing is going to change the way search works. But obviously with great products, it's possible that there are more competitors who will eventually come in the market. While Google and Bing have been, especially Google, have been the top search engines in the world today. Bing and Google have been talking a lot about their AI search engine, but none of these guys have actually taken it out on a commercial level. If you look at uh, U.com, all already live with its own chat engine and we're going to be testing responses across not just u.com but also uh, you know compare it with what chat gpt says and also then ask the same question to perplexity AI, which is also a similar uh, if not search engine ask anything sort of a bot that allows you to kind of get answers to questions and these questions are going to be more real time in nature so let's just get started the first question that i ask uh, that i want to ask to you you chat is what does just checker talk about on YouTube. Let's see what it answers. I don't think this is accurate. Maybe he's just talking about someone else. Just a heads up based on the testing that at least I've done with UChat, it's not throwing out the best results. For certain results, it's going to be throwing out decent answers. But for this specific case, while it's got the first part right, maybe he's just referring to someone else who also does this right. I'll make videos around machine learning and technology, but I don't talk about programming, especially HTML and CSS and JavaScript, right? So I talk about product management and machine learning, but I don't see all that here. So let's just ask the next question, which should give us a decent answer. Uh, so best top three graphic cards. So the same question in chat GPT, it's possible that it's not going to throw you any answer primarily because chat GPT only updated till 2019. So it's not throwing out great answers when it comes to the latest question. So let's just try this question with you.com, which is supposed to be the real time search engine so it's given me some results here three best graphic cards for 2023 rtx 3090 3080 went ahead and you know gave me out certain references that i can use and this time let's ask for amazon links and let's see what it writes so it's given me 3090 2080 so the results also changed right it was 3080 before and this is also changed so you uh, it's looking for if you ask it generic questions, which ones are the best, it'll give you whatever it has found on the internet. But if you ask for a link, it'll give you only one. The ones that may be available, I think that's what it did here. Regardless, uh, let's ask the same question to ChatGPT. It's very likely that it won't answer. So as usual, it won't be able to give you the answers 2021. Compare the results, right? So it says 3090 here. So it's 3090 here. The first one is aligned. The second one is not aligned. Uh, and the third one is also not aligned. So you can see that um, it's kind of giving out the old answers to you. Now let's try the same thing with perplexity AI. Right? So both of these are real-time by ChatGPT is only updated 2023. Now, if I had to do initial analysis between two these two, ChatGPT's answers are much more detailed right now compared to both of these. So let's asking the same question to perplexity. See what we get. 4090, 7960. It's also giving out more details on this, right? Listing out sources. But it's not given me the source to buy the links to either of these, right? You can click on the sources and open it. Yeah. But let's move to the uh, next question. So this was at least now let's make it a little more complicated and you know a little more detailed from that sense. We asked three cheapest graphic cards in 2023 with great performance against AAA titles with Amazon links. Okay. Let's ask this. So it kind of went on and you know looked through the multiple searches so came up with three recommendations which are similar from different publishers so it's asus gigabyte and msi so it's also kind of given out more you know giving out more sources about what's going to be happening in the future and maybe it's trying to refer that this this may end up being one of the most cheapest and great great performance uh graphic card in 2023 so i think that's what it is doing now let's try the same question that gpt here okay similar answer where it says that it does not have access to current market prices and cannot provide amazon links as prices are subject to change but it's giving me out details uh of 2021 when 1660 uh was one of the most affordable graphic card it's also talking about a bunch of different ones let's try asking the same question to perplexity and see what it gives us. So it's given me RTX 6600, 3060 and 3050. So obviously these are all 3070. So the answers are not clearly aligned with each other. But now let's move be beyond, you know, the graphic. Let's ask more about the current affairs per se. So who's the uh, best tennis player in the world in 2023? Is according to ATP the best one? 
is the Novak of Serbia with over 70 70 points. And if you ask the same question to Chat GPT, you obviously know at this point the kind of answers it's going to throw out. Uh, it's obviously going to look back. Oh, in 2021, 20, it was Novak as well, right? So it was easy. Um, let's try asking this to perplexity AI. I think the answer should match in this case because there is determined score for the player itself. So I don't think there'll be too many misalignments with respect to answers per se. Now let's make it a little hard try and ask this. My listed out a bunch of these guys, right? So Mr. Beast, Dream, Laser Beam, and then Purify. Let's try asking this to chat GPT. Okay, so it's not even giving out any answer at this point, right? And now if we check with perplexity AI. Talking T series to be the most subscribed and followed YouTuber in 2023, and then it's talking Mr. Beast somewhere here. It's there's also PewDiePie in this. The answers are aligned but not completely. So let's try asking one more question, uh, and let's see if there is alignment. So in this specific case, right? Uh, it's it in an ideal world because all of these three engines might have been trained on this data. The answer should be same. So let's see what kind of answer we get when he asks the oldest car in the world. Ben Spaten Motor from 1888. Okay, let's ask this to chat GPT. Okay, so again, you look at this answer, right? It's different. So it's talk. It's talking about 1888. And this specific uh, answer is talking about 1770 and built by Nicholas Joseph Cognot. Let's, you know, try asking the same question to perplexity. AI he is still not aligned, right? So all of these guys have different answers. You can see that other noble cars are still running, including, okay. So it's kind of look, you know, if you look at this, what these guys are doing is uh, these models are looking at the cars that are currently active. All of these have different answers. Obviously the answers that you're getting right now from each of these uh, chat engines are not aligned and may not be very accurate, but, but you know, let's try this. Let's ask the first car that was invented now in this specific case my assumption is it should be able to give us same answer well let's see okay it's giving out a car that was invented in 1886 wasn't it the same answer with um, so let's try this here okay looks like uh the years are different but the car name seems similar i'm just gonna accept that as a similar answer what's the source We'll just ask this question so that we can compare the source to. Let's ask perplexity the same question. 1986, and I think this is where uh, all the answers are lying. So yeah, I, I you know I kind of this is all I kind of wanted to talk in this video itself. I just wanted to help you understand why you now have multiple chatbots coming in. It, it's still a long way to go until uh, you know all of these are uh, come to a point where these can be used as proper facts so unless you give out right prompts it will only give you answers that are blurry in that sense right but all of these are powerful regardless you can use these for early research but yeah this is probably going to be it for the video itself if you like this video consider subscribing to the channel drop a like on this video share this across with a friend and i'll see you guys in the next one